This video will discuss the procedure to install new blades on a 42-inch Craftsman lawn tractor. The model number is 917-271-530. Always follow safety measures when working on any machinery, such as disconnecting the negative battery terminal and wearing personal protective equipment, such as nitrile gloves to protect the hands and eye protection, such as goggles. I've already removed the mowing deck and cleaned it. Whenever I remove the deck, I perform a series of basic checks that I've listed here in the video. Finally, I have a bonus tip at the end of this video, so please be sure to stay until the conclusion. The model number of the new blades is 532-134-149er. Install the new blade with the trailing edge up towards the deck. Note, the blade is held in place with a flat washer a lock washer, and a grade 8 hex bolt. To ensure proper assembly, the center hole on the blade must align with the puzzle pattern on the mandrel assembly. Note, the blade bolt is grade 8 heat treated and can be identified by six lines on the bolt edge. Never use a blade bolt with a lower rating than 8 for this purpose, as the edges can get worn off, making it difficult to ever service the blades. I used a 9 16 socket to tighten the grade 8 bolt and get the new blade installed properly. Reassemble the grade 8 hex bolt, lock washer, and flat washer in exactly the correct order. Tighten the bolt securely at 27 to 35 foot-pounds torque per the OEM recommendation. I did not have my torque wrench handy when I filmed this video, so I used my regular socket wrench with a 9 16 socket, and I tighten based on my prior experience. However, a torque wrench is recommended in this use case. Before completing the blade installation, I took one last look at the pulleys and mandrel assemblies on the other side of the deck, the top side, to ensure everything was in good shape before I completed the installation. I prefer doing this procedure by leaning the entire mowing deck against the wall. This is my personal preference. There is more than one way to do this procedure. I used an old brick, which I put on the left side of each blade so that I could tighten the blades without creating a rotation when I turned the socket wrench to the right in the tightening position. I held the brick in place with my left foot while I used my hands to tighten the bolt. This prevented me from having any potential injury from the blade itself. If you've stayed this long, thank you so much. Here is the bonus tip of the video. Keep your original blades that give the grass side reference when you do this procedure. The number one common mistake in this maintenance procedure is installing the blades upside down. Another mistake is thinking the blades are okay and not needing to be changed. Remember, only the edge of the blade actually cuts the grass, not the entire blade. Okay, so over here, what you can see here is that if you ever have any confusion as to which blades and what angle they're supposed to be in, you always keep your old blades and you can just see. And the old blade even says, like this old blade says, grass side France. These are the original blades. It says grass side. And so you can see that this is the, um, this is the cutting edge and this is the lift edge. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. In addition, if you found this video helpful, kindly like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.